Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very honored to introduce you to a gentleman who has won for the past four years the Best Big Band Drummer Award. He's the driving beat behind the Tonight Show Band. Let's give him a Colorado welcome, Mr. Ed Shaughnessy. Sunshine Swing by Mr. Bill Holman. 
Uh, it's a great pleasure to play with this wonderful band. How about a special hand just for them, okay? Thank you. Uh, we'd like to play a uh, old but always good piece by Duke Ellington, the master, Frankie and Johnny.
You know, it's been very uh, reassuring to a lot of us that there's a great renaissance for jazz uh, going on maybe, I'd say the last two years has been picking up steam. And if you saw the recent Time magazine with Wynton Marsalis on the cover and a big feature article, you know that jazz in a sense is coming back around in popularity. And uh, for those of us that have played it for a very long time like I have, it's uh, very, very rewarding. We all thought possibly we're going to Madonna heaven for many years, you know. And uh, with all due respect to Madonna, who's a very good showwoman, uh, those of us who play other kinds of music uh, have had our dark moments, you know, and it's been a little quiet on the scene. But what I like very much is you can like Madonna today, but you can also like Wynton Marcellus. And the uh, spectrum for young people today is much broader. They seem to like a lot of kinds of music, and that's great. So uh, we're happy you came to help support the program of this fine band. And I hope the next time they have a program, you turn out too and tell your friends. Thank you. We're going to play Wind Blue.
we're going to remember we're going to have dancing girls. That's going to be wonderful. <laughs> this is a good funky piece, red beans and rice. But am I wrote this, Mr. Felton Sparks.
thank you very much. You've been a lovely audience to play for. And for my final piece, I'm very proud of this. Uh, there's a gentleman I mentioned before who wrote the first piece that we played, Sunshine Swing, Mr. Bill Holman. And uh, when I had a big man in Los Angeles just a couple of years ago, uh, for quite a while, uh, one of my ambitions was to have quite a few pieces by Mr. Holman because we think he's in many ways uh, in a class by himself. And uh, what I asked him to do on Strike Up the Band, since we all kind of heard it a lot, is do what he does so very, very well, and that is take a piece of material that you've heard a lot and treat it in a completely original manner. And uh, the one thing I said, Bill, I don't want to really hear Strike Up the Band right away in the uh, front part of the arrangement. So in a sense, it's like a surprise. And uh, Holman is so gifted, that's all you really have to do is give him a couple of little ideas on what you would like. And uh, he came up with this, I think, marvelous uh, arrangement. Now, I'd like to tell you something that I haven't told the band, but I can't take this arrangement too many places because it's too difficult. And many bands can't play it, including some pretty good level bands. Uh, that's true. Uh, I had so much confidence in these guys that, frankly, I look forward to setting that chart up because I haven't played it in a while on a guest appearance. I really haven't. And uh, they more than uh, met my expectations. They played just terrific, in fact, terrifically. In fact, uh, Chris, the leader, asked me, could we play a little faster? That's the first time in history since man played music that anyone ever wanted to play Strike Up the Band faster. And uh, I thank you for that. And uh, he was showing love, of course, but what the hell, that's what it's all about. <laughs> and if I had a great band like this, I'd show up too, so good for you. So we're going to play this at the proper tempo, which we might call presto, or the drummer gets red in the face, uh, the old Indian term for that. And uh, we, uh, we hope that you'll like it, and the reason I'm putting the microphone on is I'd like to do some uh, Indian rhythmic singing for you, and uh, that comes out of the study of tabla drumming, which is uh, a great instrument uh, played by uh, wonderful people like uh, Ala Raka and Zukar Hussain, who is his son, and I had the pleasure to study with the father for about six years, and he taught me a great many things about rhythm that, believe me, I, I didn't have the slightest knowledge of. Of course, the Indian rhythm system, many people know, is a very complex system, but at the same time, there are a lot of uh, things that you can use in Western music. You hear it in uh, a lot of people who are contemporary players. Chick Corea is one of the very best examples. And uh, it's very useful in jazz playing and fusion playing and a lot of things. But what I've done is simply take a tradition in northern India where the drummer, the tabla drummer, uh, sitting on the floor with his two tabla drums here, played with the hands, uh, does a verbal, uh, makes up, improvises, just like jazz. Uh, he improvises some statements and phrases with these uh, Indian rhythmic syllables, and then he tries to play, or I shouldn't say tries, if he's good, he succeeds in playing what he has sung. And uh, I just want to explain to you what it's about. The Indian people about 300 years ago invented this rhythmic uh, language simply because any language you cannot practice, you can't sing and practice real fast with it. It's uh, grammatically impossible. So the Indian rhythmic system goes like this. I give you a crash course, and you don't have to be a musician to understand it. Uh, if every two beats in a row is taka, T-A-K-A, taka, 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 taka. Every three beats in a row is takata, T-A-K-I-T-A. They very much spell the way they sound. Takata, takata, takata. We sometimes call that triplet, triplet, or whatever. However, they use the takata because it reads fast. You'll see in a minute. And then the final thing you need is uh, for four beats, takadimi, T-A-K-A, like the first taka. D-E-M-E -E with a line across the E's. So in rock and roll rhythm, or 16th notes like we call it, or choo-choo train rhythm for you kids that are out there, takadimi, 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 takadimi would be the proper way to speak four beats in a row. So now we have taka, taka, taka for two, taka ta taka ta taka ta for three, and takadimi, takadimi, takadimi for four. Now the fun part is when he starts giving you numeric combinations. There's a lot of almost higher mathematics in this uh, drumming. And it starts very simply, like three and two together. Takata plus taka equals five. Now listen to me if I'm practicing and I don't know Indian rhythmics. I'll try to sing five in a row fast, way, the way you practice at home. I mean, they take you to the rubber room in about eight bars, you know? However, with Indian rhythmics, because they're called dental reflex, everything is ta ti te, like up here, like very similar to sometimes what our brass players do when they tongue the trumpet. 
the five beat thing instead of one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five in Indian becomes and that is five. You can sing it maybe three to four times as fast, plus it's clear, uh, plus you don't die which is maybe the most important class. So what he has you do is you keep drilling on fives and sevens. You put the four, Takadimi, with the three, and instead of singing, what do you do for basic seven? What do you do for basic seven? You sing to yourself, Takadimi, Takata, Takadimi, Takata, Takadimi, Takata, Takadimi, Takata, Takadimi, Takata. That's seven beats. So you can really see there's a method to the madness. So I, I hope you enjoy that. Well, I'm going to use some of this stuff and make up and do and uh, maybe make a few mistakes to cover that and try to have a big finish. So... Uh, <laughs> It's a lot of fun, and uh, I just want to thank everybody. I want to thank uh, uh, Dave, who brought me up here, who's really the man that called me and uh, got me here, and Chris for all your cooperation, and the band who worked so hard to make the music sound good, and the staff here, like John at the board and everybody else, really makes you feel at home. And I'd like a special hand for Ken, the drummer with the band, because he's one of the best young drummers I've heard in quite a long time.
Understand that. <laughs> <laughs> 